What happened, Lisa? Right, I tried to contact Philip several times and he wasn't receiving any, taking any of my calls. And he's not a monster, and, I, and it was very out of character for Phil. And I said to China, it's ringing alarm bells that Phil isn't answering. So I sent a text message on the 14th of January just asking him, please, please, can you phone me when you're free to talk? Because of work commitments and things. And uh, I didn't hear anything. And then China and I rang him on this particular Saturday. When are we talking? What month now? Still this January? Was, it, no, January. this was, yeah, it was the end of January. It was a week before her birthday, before China's birthday, sorry. And then Philip uh, returned my call about an hour and a half later. Just pause. He returned the call an hour and a half later. Yeah. Do you remember that telephone call? Yes, Judge. Do you remember that telephone call? Yes. Yeah. Shut your eyes and cast your mind back to it. Can you do that for me? Yeah. You're remembering? Mm-hmm. Good. You can open your eyes again. It's not a nightmare, you. you're in my courtroom. What happened? It was then, on that, on that conversation, uh, Philip asked for, said he was going to ask China and myself for a little bit more time, and obviously asked him in what reference for that, and he said, to cut a long story short, basically, that he'd, he'd spent the money, he'd spent China's inheritance, it wasn't there, and that he hadn't put it into a separate account. So we were mortified. <laughs> Is that the case? This is a very short version of it, yes, Judge. <laughs>